Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jahan, in case you're new. Today's reading is going to explore the next great love of your life. Throughout the course of our lives, we fall in and out of love with people. It is what it is, such is life. So I thought it would be fun to take a look at who you're going to be falling in love with next, who's coming towards you, so to speak. I have four options for you today. Make sure that you pick using your intuition and timestamps will be linked down below. I hope you guys enjoy the reading and here are your options. For option number one, we have some, I think this is opiolite. Option number one. Option number two is jet. Option number three is Dalmatian stone or Dalmatian jasper. And option number four, I believe is called call copyright or peacock ore. Option number four. So one, two, three, and four. Timestamps will be listed down below and I hope you guys enjoy your reading. Hi guys, if you were drawn to this option, let's take a look at the next great love of your life. A quick reminder that these are still general messages for a ton of people, so just try to ignore what you feel doesn't apply to you or your situation. So we have work. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next great love of your life, I feel you're going to end up meeting at or through work, even possibly through work colleagues, co-workers, work friends. We have water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The next great love of your life is gonna be a water sign, someone who has a lot of Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their chart, or this could even be you. Or you may end up meeting this person in any of the water sign seasons from whenever you happen to see this video. It's timeless. So Cancer season falls between June 21st through July 22nd. Pisces season is February 19th through March 20th. And Scorpio season is October 23rd through November 21st. We have Insta Famous, the sun. So you or this person is gonna be someone who's really, really popular, be it on or offline. You or this person could have a really large YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or just social media in general following. Um, with the sun card, I feel as though this person is really, really attractive, really photogenic. Either you or this person could do something creative. So you could be content creators, work in the fashion, fashion industry, music industry. Um, as if qualities, self-involved, known, shallow, on fleek, description, filtering your self-image to perfection may compel others to follow you. Remember that only the comments that matter are your own. Remember that the only comments that matter are your own. Will you limit your story to the to what got likes yesterday? Or will you live unedited place, far from candid, totem, hashtag game? Interesting. And then last but not least, we have the King of Coins, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, either you or this person. Or just like the water sign energy, you could meet this person in any of the earth sign season from whenever you happen to view this. So Virgo season falls between August 23rd through September 22nd. Taurus season is April 20th through May 20th. And Capricorn season, season is December 22nd through January 19th. Whoever you end up with next, or this great love of your life is going to be someone who's financially stable with this king of coins. This person will have something to offer you. And I feel as though this person is really gaudy. Like this person likes jewelry. This person likes gold. This person will be the kind of person that like wears chains or wears designer items or luxury high-end items. This person is going to appreciate the finer things in life. So this person is going to be very, very bougie. With the Sun card, I feel as though maybe this is someone you could already have a crush on or they already have a crush on you. This person is going to be very attracted to your eyes and lips. And um, if this person 
For some of you, if it's a man, he could have longer hair, but that doesn't have to resonate for everyone. But for a lot of you, this person you're dealing with is going to have a beard or facial hair. Yeah, this person gets a lot of attention, a lot of it, very attractive, a lot of suitors. And they also feel this way about you. They see you as someone who gets a lot of attention. They see you as someone who's all about their business. They appreciate the fact that you're all about your work. And even, I feel as though it may even, um, this person may even show you off on social media once you guys start dating. This person is going to be very, very emotional or you guys are going to form an emotional connection. And I see you guys being a very handsome couple. Like people are going to see you and think, oh, they look good together. Because you're attractive and so are they. You guys are equally attractive. And you both have suitors. You both have people who want both of you. But I feel as though it's good vibes, good energy. This person's very high frequency. You may end up collaborating with this person as well. All right, so I didn't want this to be too long. I'm going to close the reading with some channel messages. I do offer video readings just like this. If you would like one, links are listed below, www.jahantaroshop.com. So to close the reading, let's see if we can get some any... Let's see if we can get some random message messages or any other messages pertaining to the next great love of your life. Okay. So something about April could be significant. Maybe you'll meet this person in April. We have runner and codependent relationship. So maybe this person is a runner in a codependent relationship or you're a runner. Maybe this is like one of those runner chaser dynamics. Maybe some of you fell back and you've just been focused on your focusing on your work. And so now it's starting to get this person's attention. We have job, money loss, but blessing in disguise. Some of you guys are going to end up meeting this person when you're doing really well in your work. Some of you are going to end up dealing with this person right after you've changed a job. Or maybe some of you lost a job and so you started your own business. And maybe this is how you're going to end up meeting this person. Because look, you have a new job offer. Some of you guys are going to end up meeting this person once you get a new job offer. Or you're going to end up meeting this person at a new job. Or at a new v business venture you could be starting. We have sexy, attractive. What did I say? This person is going to be very sexy and attractive. And they're going to also view you and perceive you as very sexy and attractive. And last but not least, we have August. All right, so that kind of confirms what I already said. Anyways, this is what I'm picking up for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if this made any sense in the comments. I looked up and just saw 555. Infinite abundance as always, and you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. Hey guys, so if you were drawn to this option, which is Jet, let's take a look at the next great love of your life. And just a quick reminder, these are still general messages for a ton of people. So just ignore what you feel doesn't apply to your situation. So jumping in, we have blonde female. So you could be blonde or maybe you're someone who manipulates your hair a lot. Maybe you dye your hair a lot. You wear blonde wigs, weaves, extensions, braids. Or if you're, uh, or the next great love of your life could be um, a blonde female. So just take it how it resonates. We have a line. The next great love of your life you're going to meet through social media. I see a lot of emails, test messages going back and forth. And with the World Wide Web, I definitely feel as though um, maybe you meet this person on social media because this person could be at a distance from you, a different town, city, or country. We have uh, the Five of Swords. For some of you, this is someone who you've had conflict with. The next great love of your life, <laughs> I feel has tattoos on, on it. Like they have finger tattoos. You are this person that has finger tattoos, face tattoos, or like something about this person is just really unconventional. And then we have the world brunch. Yeah, I feel like the next great love of your life is someone you ended things with, you completed a cycle with, and then you're going to start something with them again. Some of you, this could be someone where you end one relationship and you jump into a next relationship. And with the world card, I feel as though this person is someone who's going to be of a different race, cultural background, or ethnicity. There's going to be some sort of significant difference. They may even be from a different country. They speak a different language. 
they do something online that's very controversial as well. Hmm. Quality, sustenance, abundance, life celebration. This person is really rich or very abundant. Description, Bloody Mary, Mother of Christ, Savior of hunger over bodies, well, avocado, avocado toast and bottle, bottomless mimosas. Oh, why can't I talk? Bottomless mimosas, suspend Sunday scurries or leave you regretfully unproductive and in the need of a nap place in a long line told them last night squad and speaking of that look at there's like some guy laying in the background this person like parties a lot or they party really hard they're constantly celebrating life they're a huge big drinker so this person is constantly hungover yeah this person is all about celebration and enjoyment i'm picking up on a kind of a hedonistic vibe from this person as well you know what you know what video I'm thinking about? You know that video with uh, Rihanna? We found love in a lonely place where it looked like in the video, I don't know if they popped a pill or I don't know what the hell they did in that video, but they were on some, onto something. They did something in that video. And like, they were just in their own world. And like, that's the kind of energy I'm picking up. You and this person. It's gonna feel like a love, like a really young Bonnie and Clyde type love. like no matter how old you guys are it's going to feel like like that bad boy bad boy energy you know what i mean like someone who wears leather and drives motorcycles like in greece right um what's it what's that song ooh, 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 and i need a man and my heart is set on you ooh, 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 you better hurry up whatever the hell they say but yeah that that kind of energy is so funny and then remember how Ashanti and Ja Rule kind of had that Grease inspired video mesmerized. So yeah, I'm picking up bad boy energy. Like I'm healing, I'm, I'm, I'm healing. I'm hearing this person's going to turn you out. Oh my God. Let me, let me move on. This <laughs> is some of you, you know, this person isn't like really that great for you. Like this is a this is like making out in the restroom in like a trashy bar on the side of a truck stop. I don't know. This is a weird reading. Like I said, it may not resonate with everyone. Like this is kinky, it's freaky, it's invigorating, it's the kind of love that will make you do crazy shit. It'll it's the kind of love that will make you wake up in Vegas and not know how you got there type shit. You know what I mean? Woo-wee. Mm, brace yourself. So close the reading. I'm going to pull some channel messages. This has to be some new energy I'm picking up on because my subscribers don't seem like that crap. <laughs> not, that, not that there's anything wrong, but y'all just don't seem. My soul tribe just, just doesn't seem like that. But anyways, we have this situation requires time and patience. So it's going to require a lot of time and patience. We have runner and codependent relationships. So you and this person, there's been a lot of back and forth, Tom and Jerry with this shit. We have urgent communication. This is someone who wants to talk to you. Personal development. Some of you guys have kind of distanced yourself because you've been working on your personal development. Some of you even got a new job offer and you've been focused on that. But Spirit is saying change your outlook. Spirit is saying maybe... Or maybe you're going to end up changing your outlook in reference to this situation. Maybe this person has done a lot of personal development from the last time you've dealt with them. Maybe all the partying and crazy shit was in the past. Maybe this person is going to want to start a new cycle. Some of you in the next few days, you'll hear from this person. We have new source of income. This person has a new source of income. We have recovery. If this person was into like drugs or if they're an addict, I feel as though they've been uh, recovering from that. I'm hearing sobriety. We have wish fulfillment. Something about June could be significant. I see you weighing your options. We have September. We have May. We have Cancer. June 21st through July 22nd. We have art and design. So maybe this person is very artistic. They could be into art and design. Yeah, what did I say? We have love from the past. So some of you, this is someone you have you have history. You, Clearly, y'all have a lot of history, okay? <laughs> um, but Spirit is saying you're on the right path. So this is what I'm picking up for you guys. Let me know if this was your story. 
because this shit was crazy. But anyways, I hope you guys did. I hope you guys enjoy. I can't even talk. Oh my god, I need water. Bye. Just bye. <laughs> All right. So, if you were drawn to this Dalmatian Jasper, let's take a look at who the next great love of your life is. And just a quick reminder, these are still general messages for a ton of people. So just ignore what you feel doesn't apply to you or your situation. So I'm picking up an intuitive message with this one because this is black and white. I feel as though either you are the person who you're going to end up dealing with. The next great love of your life is going to be black and white, literally. So they might be interracial. They might be of mixed race, ethnicity, or of a mixed cultural background. Or the two of you could be from different cultural backgrounds so coming together it will be like a mix if that makes sense okay so let's take a look we have family so i feel as though the next great love of your life you're going to end up building a family with you may end up having a child with this person specifically a baby girl you may already have a, a child or they may already have a child or girl but i definitely feel as though you guys are going to end up building a family with one another some of you may literally end up meeting through a family member or meeting through a family function or family event we have a new person introductions meeting new people and socializing what did i say so some of you guys may get introduced to this person through a family friend or through family i definitely feel as though this is going to be a new person for whoever picked this option is this is going to be someone you haven't dealt with before some of you i'm hearing social media you may end up meeting this person through social media we also have uh death student um student loans in the millennial millennial edition some of you guys i feel as though you may end up meeting this person once there's some sort of major change in your life I don't predict death, and I hate to say it, but some of you, if you end up going to a funeral, you may end up meeting this person through family. It doesn't even have to be a funeral of your family. It could be like even a, like a memorial, something that you go to. If it's not a funeral, it could be, I'm just saying funeral because of the death, but if it's not that, it could be like a graduation, a wedding, graduation, obvious for obvious reasons. So some of you guys, like I said, maybe you, may, you might be going to somebody else's event if it's not your own and this is how you're going to end up meeting this person some of you guys you're going to end up with student loans you're going to be in a really fantastic place in your life by the time you end up getting married or meeting this person so oh, i say get married so maybe like i said family you're going to end up marrying this the next great love of your life with student loans i feel as though you're going to have paid off all of your student loans if you have any congratulations in advance some of you if it's not student loans it could just be debt in general maybe you're at you're going to be at a place in life where you're debt free you you have great credit amazing credit you just graduated from college for some of you like you're going to be in a very transitional phase of your life with that death energy because death doesn't always have to represent a physical death it can represent a death of a one way of being and a new way of being a death of a phase in your life a death of one cycle in your life like i feel as though you're going to be embarking on major change by the time you end up meeting the next great love of your life and then we have hermit the person you end up meeting they're also going to be very financially stable this person's going to be very educated a college grad graduate some of them may even possess a phd with this hermit energy because the hermit, the hermit is like woke, even far beyond this 3D education, this PhD shit. Like, so I feel as though this person, even if they don't have college education, they're still someone who's very, very self-conscious, self-aware. This could be someone who's a little older than you or someone who's mature in age. This person has amazing credit. Even like I feel as though this person is going to be someone who's very successful, but you would never know because if you like I'm picking up hippie vibes There's someone who's super simple You know be the brokest people that be having all these Gucci Gucci on their forehead Gucci on their shirt Gucci on the purse Gucci on their shoes a hundred pairs of Nike sneakers, but no stocks in the actual company It's like bro. What are you doing? Like empty barrels make the most noise, but the, I'm picking up the opposite of this person. This person is very simple. They'll be rich as hell, but you'd never know it at first glance. But go look at this person's bank account. This is the kind of energy. Super noble, super humble. Quality, soul crushing, long term, expensive, description, budgeting, second hand clothing. What did I say? I just saw 444, four, four. second hand clothing. This person is rich as hell, but will shop at Goodwill. 
like this person does not care about society societal norms society standards like i mean excuse my length but they don't give a fuck what people think about them like you're i feel as though this is something that they're going to appreciate about you if you're like this or you're going to appreciate about you're going to appreciate this about them okay back to the uh the card secondhand clothing and not splitting the bill at dinner keeps debt at bay and annoys your friends will fr frugality teach you patience and restraint from creating fomo and regret for regret for missed activities place the sharing economy told them art history degree what did i say this person's going to have some sort of degree in history like this person's going to be very woke but more than anything this person's going to be cheap and frugal and this is why this person is so rich is because they know how to save their money they don't spend their money on bullshit this person has made, they could even be into cryptocurrency. They, um, oh, by the way, PayPal lets you buy crypto now. And they're saying that crypto is supposed to like go up to like 200,000 in like in the next five years. So I would get on in, in on that, Cuddy. I would do it. I mean, obviously do your own research, but even if you buy like $5, that's not going to hurt nothing. You know what I mean? But I digress. Like this person has really good investments. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to close the reading with some channel messages because I don't want these to be super long. Okay, let's see. These could be also any other random messages. I do offer video readings, so if you would like one, www.jahantaroshop.com. Links are listed down below. Wait, hold on. Let me toss this because I feel like it looks the same as the last option. Yeah, with personal readings, I just specifically channel just your energy. I focus on just your energy, so. But let's see. Okay, let's see. Oop, I want too many. Ah. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so the closer reading, let's see. We have emails, emails and text messages. There's gonna be a lot of communication online back and forth between you and your, the next great love of your life. We have growth and transformation. This person's gonna bring a lot of growth and transformation in your life. With recovery, this person's gonna help you recover from any sort of loss, heartbreak. We have nine months. Some of you may end up meeting this person in nine months from whenever you happen to see this, or there's gonna be a quick pregnancy I'm hearing new job offer some of you are going to end up meeting this person when there's a new job offer spirit is wanting you to cultivate new habits or this person is going to help you cultivate new positive habits possibly even spending habits because again this person is going to be someone who's very frugal very good with money so if you're someone who spends their money on bullshit and can't save or is really bad with money they're going to help you establish better spending habits it does say this situation requires time and patience so you, you need to have patience. Something about September. So maybe you, you may end up meeting this person in September. Some of you June. Or others of you May. Remember, these are for a ton of different people. And for some of you, you may end up meeting this person in cancer season. Or you or this person could be a cancer. June 21st through July 22nd. So this is what I'm picking up for you, you guys. I hope this resonated. Let me know if this made any sense in the comments. If this is looking like your story. Other than that, I'm wishing you guys infinite abundance. And you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. All right, so for those of you who are drawn to the peacock or I do want to remind you that these are still general messages for a ton of people. So just ignore what you feel doesn't apply to you or your situation. So jumping in, I was picking up intuitively that for those of you drawn to this option, the next great love of your life is on their way. Some of you are, are going to end up hearing from this person or seeing this person or this person is going to end up manifesting into your rea into your reality within the next four hours four days or possibly even four weeks to four months from whenever you happen to see this this is a timeless reading so if it's meant to resonate with you you'll see it at the right time dating so oh and something about the next full moon something about the next full moon so again something about the next four weeks for some of you maybe next month or the next month I see you dating the next great love of your life. Some of you guys specifically, you could enjoy wine. Maybe you or this person could be a wine connoisseur. Some of you guys, I see this person whining and dining you, spending time together. We have sudden, surprise, unexpected, and shocking. So yeah, some of you guys, this person is going to come into your life and is going to be surprised 
or it's going to be a surprise it's going to be unexpected some of unexpected some of you this is going to shock you we have the chariot wanderlust so for some of you this person could be at a distance from you I see if you are separated with distance, this person, that's like, that's over. I see this person coming towards you or you being able to go towards this person. Some of you guys, I see the next love of your life is someone who is all about the great outdoors, something about the Rocky Mountains or the Pacific Northwest or Himalayas, like anywhere where there's a, a mountainous region, there could be travel tour from a place like this, or maybe the great love of your life is from a place like this. This person could be from a place where it snows or you're going to end up meeting this person or seeing this person in the winter from whenever you happen to watch this. So take that part however it resonates. Some of you could be dealing with the, ch um, I was about to say chariots. Some of you could be dealing with the cancer or a cancer season could be significant to this connection, which is June 21st through July 22nd for some of you. Some of you are going to end up going on a trip with this person or going hiking with this person. What wonderless? I feel as though this person is very whimsical. This person is all for travel. This person is very cultural, has a lot of, very well traveled, has a lot of experience. Very cultured person. Qualities, they're very spontaneous. They're very curious about life. So they like to do a lot of research. And with this minimally adventurous, I feel as though they could be someone who opts for the whole minimalistic lifestyle maybe they're they're the kind of person that can live out of a van or they're the kind of person that is it like a nomad they like backpack they're, they're very adventurous description the open road is calling with nothing but a 1300 dollar backpack you teach english to children abroad so maybe this person is a teacher maybe they teach english abroad maybe they have an online business they could be an entrepreneur novel like the contents of your travel blog Will you find new perspectives or forever invade life at home? Maybe this person literally is a travel blogger or has their own travel blog. Place, Thailand. You are this person, maybe they're from Thailand or maybe they travel to places like Thailand, totem, foreign language tattoo. So maybe this person mm -hmm. speaks a foreign, 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 foreign language. It could be bilingual. Maybe you are. But yeah, this person, your ne the next great love of your life is going to come into your life sudden. Some of you, if this is describing you, you're going to end up meeting this person on your travels. Unexpectedly, it's going to be a shocking surprise and I see you dating this person. Oh, nice. Lovers. Wow. This is an amazing, amazing option. For those who pick this, this is going to be very, very, very intense with this lover's energy. The sex is going to be great. It's going to be very romantic. Some of you, I'm hearing you like have sex out on a resort and like sex on the beach, sex in a, on, like somewhere very, very romantic and a very romantic getaway where they're like drapes and curtains and silk and candles. Some of you, I'm even hearing Venetian or like, like in a castle, like in some sort of historic I don't know. Your travels, I feel as though you guys are just going to be traveling and fucking all over the world. Excuse my French. What lovers, lovers traditionally meant to make a decision. So I feel as though some of you may even end up having a decision. So you may end up meeting this person while you're dealing with somebody else and you're going to have to choose between one, or, one over the other. Or you're going to have to choose one circumstance over the other. So maybe you're going to have to choose to travel with this person person when you can stay somewhere else like I feel as though when this person comes into your life you're going to be faced with a major decision you're going to have to make but I see you going with this person this person is very physically fit you guys are going to be a very handsome couple this person has muscles if it's a man he may have a little longer he I feel as though if he's a man he has longer hair but the only reason why his hair is longer is because he travels so much so he doesn't really get it he doesn't get a chance to go to the barbering shop so it kind of he just lets it grow out and does and do its own thing he normally shaves his beard he's very well he like he's well like no he's shaved or however they say it but it tends to grow out so it just depends sometimes his look switches up with this lover's Gemini energy you know, him or her looks tends to switch up. Some of you will end up meeting this person May 21st through June 20th, Gemini season. Or you or this person could literally be a Gemini. Let's get some channel messages to close the reading. I don't like for these to be too long. I do offer video readings just like this, personal readings. Links are listed down below if you're interested. www.johantaroshop.com So the next great love of your life. Let's see who... 
Okay, you guys got a lot, so this should be good. So remember, these are there are a bunch of you. So some of you could meet this person in January. Some of you could meet this person in June. Some of you cancer. Remember how I say strong cancer any energy June 21st through July 22nd. Some of you will meet this person in August, or maybe there could be travel with this person or something significant to do with this person in any of those months. We have focus on self-worth and appreciation in the meantime. Or maybe some of you are attracting this kind of color birth person because you have been doing the work. You have been doing the shadow work, focusing on your uh, yourself, your self-love. More than one, one love interest. What did I say? A lot of you guys are going to end up having to choose one over the other. You're going to have two love interests. It's, it's You're going to think it's exciting news. Or for some of you, this is exciting news. You're on the right path. Job money, um, job or money loss, but blessing in disguise. So if you face a job or money loss, it's a blessing in disguise. Some of you, because you face some sort of job or money loss, it'll give the give you the opportunity to travel or do something else, and then you'll end up meeting this person through that, and it will le end up leading to a partnership. So for this, the one of the options. They're, them and the great love of their life are going to end up getting married and having children. For this one, I'm feeling as though you guys are going to end up getting into a partnership. Recovery. This person is going to help you recover from any heart, heartache. Heart, why can't I talk today? Heartache or pain or anything that you've been facing. We have more money. This person is going to also help you make more money. We have desirable. This is a very desirable person. Because I feel as though this person is very business savvy. So they're going to teach you what to do or how uh how they live their lifestyle protect your energy there's a need for you to protect your energy we have a cycle complete some of you are going to end up meeting this person once the cycle in your life completes possibly next year from whenever you happen to watch this sudden change this is going to bring sudden change this person is going to bring a lot of sudden change in your life we have social media some of you are going to end up me meeting this person through social media but what i'm hearing is when you meet this person or get with this person you guys are going to be like the envy of social media because you guys are going to have like really nice pictures because you guys will travel a lot so you guys will have pictures and like really dope places that a lot of people don't get the chance to visit we have epiphany awakening some of you are going to end up attracting this person because you've done some sort of spiritual advancement or spiritual work again you've done the shadow work you've been taking time out to focus on yourself so through your spiritual advancement is how you're attracting this person right now is not the right time but this person is on their way pretty soon some of you next year some of you within the next um like I was saying, four days, four weeks, four months. You may end up seeing something about this person, hearing from this person. But if you don't end up coming together with this person immediately, it's because it's not the right time. But eventually you will, for sure, next year for a lot of you. So this is what I'm picking up for you guys. I hope you enjoy. Let me know if this was your storyline in the comments. Other than that, infinite abundance as always. And you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye.